Hello friend, I am Samadhi back to with new tutorial video regarding RCC. In my last video, I discussed about the miles deal. So in case if you missed this video, then definitely there is some i button. Just go and check out because in there, in this video, I will discuss lots of things. So today, we will discuss HYST bar. So what we learned from this video, number one. What is your H what is your HYST bar? Number two are uh, symbol definitely it's combining. Number three um, subgroups. Number four advantage disadvantage definitely uh, stressed strain curve and also proof stress so these are few things i will discuss throughout the video so without further delay let's get started so first what do you mean by that is hyst bars oh first of all what is the full form it is the high yield high yield strength deform bars okay this is called as your hyst bar high yield strength deform bar but what do you mean by that is a matlab kya hota hai now basically basically this bar is created or made with heat treatment simultaneously simultaneously for proper shipping proper shipping some cool twisted process is done the time of heat treatment and it is taking much more stress than mild steel and compared to mild steel yield strength it is high than FY mild steel that is why high yield strength deform deform why due to heat treatment deform okay what is its symbol? Symbol is FE415, FE500 and so on. FE that means ferrous is the primary or iron is the primary material. 415, 500 it was yield strength like previous video. These are the symbol. If we talk about the IS code, already I mentioned, but still I am mentioned here. IS code for this HYST bar is IS 17861985. This is IS code. Some difference compared to mild steel yes definitely high yield strength like mild steel is 250 where hysd has lots of variations starting from 415 to 500 550 also this is number one number two number two is bone strength bond strength of HYST that is equal to 60 times of bond strength of my steel. Why? Because I am mentioning here cold twisted. When you see the I mean diagram, it is more or less 
this for this thing for this thing they are making good friction due to friction they are generating good bond strength so this is your diagram now what is the available to available types or what is the sub groups of the hosd or category of hysd bugs number 1 hot rolled high yield strength bar number 2 cold work cold work high yield strength bar these are the two types okay sometimes sometimes acha some people say you ask you hysd or tor they are different or same they are same they are same like fe415 it's known as tor 40 if e 500 is known as tor 50 this is a important thing for you i hope now we talk about the diagram regarding regarding what uh, the diagram regarding stress strain of each vst this is your stress this is your strain yeah that is the all about if i compare to the stress strain curve of my steel no proper upper yield point no proper lower yield point no ultimate stress only breaking point is available but still we have to find we have to find what we have to find yield stress so before doing this just mention this is the breaking point and this is the topmost value of this okay so how we find the um, yield stress that is known as basically proof stress or proof strain see what happen basically 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 wait 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 this value let me draw in different color this value is 0.02 0.02 what happen here just measure the value 0.02 then what happen then we draw a parallel line with this okay say this is cut here then corresponding this value is your known as proof stress and here if this is the and this value is if 415 then this graph for fe 415 this is how we found the proof stress and proof strain i hope the concept will concept is clear for you okay so if you want to write just take a 2 1 2 point measure 0.02 then draw a line parallel to the what stress strain curve okay 
the point the point where cut corresponding stress is known as proof stress and corresponding strain is known as proof strain yeah that's it i hope that will that is clear for you okay now we talk about some advantages we we'll talk about some advantages what is the some advantages of hyft bar one high yield strength definitely are 415 is much more greater than 250 hence proved number 2 high bond strength i already mentioned here i already already mentioned here um uh, bond strength of h y s d that is 60 times of bond strength of mild steel because why again i draw the picture for mild steel the this is the view for hyst there will be this cold twisted things that is why more friction if more friction then more bond strength cdc bus cdc bath no buckles this is called concept okay and third is your third is your what economical economical yeah that's the three advantages and yeah disadvantages way same hoga yaar but tabhi bhi likhta hai disadvantage is rust issue rusting issue so yeah this is all about hyst bar lecture when i talk about what is hyst bar what is its symbols what is prop its is code what is the uh, difference between hyst and ms then i talk about the diagram then talk about the different category of hyst bar then is it hyst or tor same that then we talk about the diagram then talk about proof stress at proof strain and lastly we talk about the advantages and some disadvantages so hope you will enjoy this video and if you find some value from this video then definitely share the video with your groups so yeah thank you for watching this video meet with you our next video that is tmt bars so till then bye bye take care and once again thank you for watching this video